Let's take a look here towards Nassau County because commissioners there just wrapped up a session with two very hot topics on their mind. So our Jocelyn Howard was there. She has the major takeaways from that. That's right. Today's meeting covered two hot topics, furloughs and beach closures. We'll start with the beaches. The commissioners have all said they are not ready to open the beaches. It was also mentioned that they may not want to open the beaches until emergency personnel feel prepared. We are in partners with City for New Beach to provide beach guards. So if we open it up with swimming, surfing, I'm not not going to be in favor of that if we can't put our beach guards back on. Then it also needs to go into consideration if the beach guards feel like they're ready to man the beach and put their personnel at risk. The board wants to continue talking to neighboring coastal counties to be on the same page, unlike the sudden beach openings in Duval. Uh, I also like the idea of, um, you know, talking with St. John's County, Flagler County, seeing what they're doing and doing a regional approach. I wish Duval would have kind of done the same thing with us. Um, and uh, instead of like we said, the knee-jerk reaction, but, um, but I look forward to, to those discussions uh, coming up. Um, the commission agreed to see how Duval's opening goes this weekend, if people are going to be social distancing or if it gets out of hand. Now on to the furloughs. The board agreed to give $50,000 to Barnabas that's assisting those who have been furloughed. It's a county program that provides services that help people get back on their feet. Along with the county's 50000 the Convention and Visitors Bureau is contributing $50,000 as well. The county wants to specify tourist development funds are not being used. Those are monies the Convention and Visitors Bureau have earned, for lack of a better term, since about 2008 in programs and interests and things of that nature, not uh, tourist development Funds. The county says private businesses have agreed to match those contributions for a total of 200,000 to go to Barnabas. The county is continuing to follow these issues and will be reconvening on Monday. In Nassau County, I'm Jocelyn Howard, First Coast News on your side.